A Texas megachurch pastor believes that he has the right to impose Christian nationalism on the country. We always put our love for God above everything, even allegiance to our country. But that's not what they're really talking about. Listen carefully. They say they are opposed to people who say America was founded as a Christian nation, Americans who believe not only in the spiritual heritage of our nation, but, but believe that we ought to use elections to help return our country to its Christian foundation. If that's Christian nationalism, count me in, mm -hmm. because that's what we have to do. And uh, well, yeah, hey, look, Christian nationalism, that's what we have to do. You know, we have to use the electoral process. Well, at least he's saying the electoral process for now to impose our beliefs on everyone else. Hmm. Now, that, of course, was Pastor Robert Jeffress saying, basically, or admitting that, look, I, I don't care about the Constitution. I don't care about the First Amendment. I don't care about history. I certainly don't care about facts. If he did, well, he wouldn't be a Christian nationalist, would he? Look, let me... I, I, I don't feel like I should need to remind people, but apparently I have to remind everybody. Uh, you know, not, not everybody who's watching, of course, but the, the, the far right, that the United States was not founded as a Christian nation. That's just a pure fabrication. It's the rewriting of history. And it's also, to say that is deeply un-American. The whole point of keeping the government secular is not to, like, be unfair to Christianity or religion in general. No, it's to avoid the types of divisions that the Christian nationalists are stoking. Now, another reason that they did this is to protect freedom of and from religion you don't want to like they didn't throw off the you know shackles of the the british empire in order to put the shackles of christianity on everyone else no i believe in freedom and so did they so it's actually the left when they say actually we're not uh, a christian nation we're a secular country that's the left being on the side of freedom and, well, if we're on the side of freedom, what side are they on? The Christian nationalists. Well, it ain't freedom. That's for sure. Look, they want to take freedom of and from religion away. And, and by the way, if you're a Christian, you think, oh, no, no, that's, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be affected. Well, I believe in Christianity, right? Well, it kind of depends on what flavor of Christianity you are. And think about it this way, right? And I'm going to break it down real simple. Think of it as uh, flavors of soft drink, right? The denominations of Christianity. Christian nationalism happens to be Pepsi. Not that I hate Pepsi. There's no reason that it has to be Pepsi. It could be whatever, right? But for argument's sake, say it's Pepsi. Okay, if you like Pepsi, drink Pepsi. But what if you like Coke? What if you like Diet Coke? What if you like Sprite, Mellow Yellow? What if you like, uh, you know, Fago? Now, under Christian nationalism, the government's going to tell you, oh, too bad. You're going to have to drink Pepsi. You're required to, by law. Not only will you have to buy Pepsi and drink it, if you don't, we're going to maybe put even criminal penalties on you. Hmm. And understand, yes, uh, is that an extreme example Maybe, but when you look at the history of what establishing a state religion leads to, well, it leads to the destruction of freedom. Follow our rules. Even if you're not a Christian, doesn't matter. Or I'm sorry, even, even, you know, even if you're not a Christian, if you don't follow our rules and believe in our religion, then, well, you're going to, you know, you're, you're going to get punished for this. Well, that's not freedom. And look, in the olden days, it wasn't prison. It was people being put to death. Now you got people in this country that want to bring that back. Now, that said, there's another clip here that I want to show you. Uh, and this is gaslighting. Take a look. The left don't mind at all imposing their values 
on our country through the uh, election process. Uh, they don't mind uh, forcing their pro-abortion, pro-transgender, pro-open uh, borders policy upon our nation, but they object when conservative Christians try to impose their values on society at large. It's complete hypocrisy. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, uh, so apparently the, the left, according to him, we're trying to impose the pro-abortion, pro-trans, and pro-open borders? Really? Okay, so uh, let me ask a question for Mr. Jeffress, right? Do you know anybody who's being forced into getting abortions? There's certainly a choice. Are they, are they getting forced? And getting abortion? No, no. How about how about who's getting forcibly transgendered? Nobody. He's lying. Obviously, people are making the choice to get an abortion. And look, transgender people are choosing to come out and to make their true identities known, to be themselves, to be their their authentic selves. Nobody's forcing that. We're allowing this to happen so that people could be. I don't know. Happy, you know, being themselves, who they are, <laughs> expressing themselves. But see, understand that they want the opposite of that. It, again, it's, it's gaslighting, it's projection. They, what they want to do is actually to force people not to be able to get any abortions. They want to force all transgender people, all LGBTQIA plus people back into the closet. Oh, you don't exist. You're not real. Neither of the voices in your head, Robert. But you believe them anyway, for some reason. And finally, the, the open borders thing. Really? Open borders? What, what are you talking about? There's no open border. No open border. Not a real thing. <laughs> it's not a real, real thing. It hasn't been open for a very, very long, long time. The United States used to have an open border. And the right-wingers decided to pass all these exclusionary racist acts. Like the, I don't know, Chinese Exclusion Act. Some of these immigration policies even targeted other white people, Europeans. So there's been a long history of the United States having the opposite of an open border. I think there was a Israeli, uh, not Israeli, sorry. There was a, a group of uh, Jewish Germans during World War II that tried to come here to the United States to escape Nazi Germany. You know what the United States said to them? Pound sand. They went right back, got sent back to Germany, and they ended up in concentration camps. Open border. Is that an open border? Is that an open border? T tell me about how open the border is. Really. And do you think a wall is going to fix that? The majority of people that do come over and stay here illegally is when they fly into the country and then their visas expire. They don't go back. They're not crossing the border. It, the whole thing is ridiculous. Open board. Open board. Look. Here's the thing. When it comes to hypocrisy and religion on the issue, you know, on the issue of religion from the left, um, no, we're actually not the hypocrites. Uh, turns out we're actually with the founders of the United States in the issue. See, uh, what people on the left believe is that I don't care if you have, we don't care if you have a religion. Have fun, go nuts. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, right? We do care, though, when you use that religion to say that people can't be gay. They're not allowed to be transgender. That you're not allowed to exist. There's plenty of arbitrary rules that, by the way, are in their Bible, you know, against uh, divorce and things like that, um, or that are not in their Bible, and they just cherry pick out and decide we're going to go with that. That's what they do. And by the way, talking about getting back to immigration for a second here, they ignore their own religion on the topic of immigration the bible did say hey uh jesus 
said things like be you know kind of immigrants treat them as you would your own that's kind of the whole theme bible is treat the stranger as you would your own weird but see here's the thing they're not christians they don't believe in their own mythology and again they will cherry pick out things in order to use that to bludgeon other people in the head not in a literal sense but in a legislative sense. They try to write their own policies based on this that are going to have negative impacts on real people. And I say no. I don't agree. Uh, let me just uh, go, to our, go to our friend uh, Matt Walsh here. Well, I do not consent. No. No. Hell no. No, get your goddamn hands off our freedom. You want to go and be religious, be religious. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. But if you're going to go write policy for the everyone else, forcing them to do certain things or not being able to do certain things, that's not going to fly here. 